Welcome back to my channel. This book review is for the Spice Master at Bistro Exotique. Yes, that's a tongue twister. Don't try to say it fast. Now, here we have a chef who has opened up her, a new restaurant. And in this process of opening up her restaurant, she meets the neighbors, not just where she's going to be staying, but also the neighbors and the surrounding businesses. Now, this book had a little bit of magic and folklore in it, maybe, if I can use those terms, because of the vivid, vivid imagination, or what's the word I want to say? Imagery. The vivid imagery that our character, Kate Jenkins, experienced when she smelled certain spices. So when she came in contact with certain spices, she would have vivid imagery. So I was a little wondering, okay, is this going to be a little bit like para, you know, paranormal? Or are we just going to stay in the romance part of it? Well, let's talk about that for a moment. Now, Kate Jenkins, uh, as mentioned, her name is Kate Jenkins, and now she's opening up her restaurant, and that's called Bistro, Bistro Exotique, okay? Now, she has a neighbor, and he's very standoffish, so, but he's gorgeous. But because of his personality, he is anti-Keanu. Who's Keanu? Keanu Reeves. Gorgeous, but this guy is so unlikable, so unkind, that he is anti-Keanu. However, there's somebody else in the picture. Her name is Garance. She's the Spice Master. Okay, so think about the title. You see the, the book cover up there, right? She's the spice master. Kate is the new chef, the chef that's opening a new uh, Paris Parisian restaurant. And then there's the son, okay? And his name is Charles. He's Garance's son. He's the anti Keanu. Okay, Kate, Garance. Charles, that vibe of the scents from the different spices that Garance has in her shop transport our character Kate into a deeper, like on a deep to a deeper plane where she has images that she doesn't understand that she cannot explain. But bottom line is, she's trying to get her restaurant open. Now, one of the, remember I said it's it's not just where she lives; it's also other business uh, businesses, small businesses around where she's opening the restaurant. Well, one day she's she's about to open, have her opening, and another uh, neighboring business is about to have a delivery. Well, that delivery causes real chaos, real uh, economic damage to the Parisian restaurant. So it kind of messes up the uh, grand opening. Meanwhile, uh, Kate has hired a bunch of staff, a chef, a sous chef, waiters, dishwashers, you know, she because she's opening up this new business. Well, her sous chef is had some kind of an injury no, I'm sorry. Her sous chef took a job somewhere else. I just had to get that right. So now Kate's left in the lurch. Well, here's Charles. He steps in. Well, wait a minute. She doesn't like Charles. But Garen's, Charles's mother, says, yeah, give him a chance. Well, who is Charles? Well, a Michelin star chef, actually. But he's out of the limelight. He's been in the, in the background for a long time. Why would he even want to act as a sous chef to work under Kate when he is a Michelin, Michelin star chef? I guess I feel like I'm stirring the pot. Lots of elements, right? You got a great chef. You got a chef who was hiding who he was. You have a new, a newer chef opening a restaurant. You have th this exotic woman named Garance who has exotic spices that make Kate have these vivid images. I will say that it's pretty much unlike most of what I've read this year. 
it was different. It was very, very different. It wasn't what I expected because I don't like books that think about, that talk about fate and, you know, magic. And I don't like any of that. But I loved this one because I loved seeing Garance with her motherly ways towards Kate. But I also loved our anti Keanu Charles in the metamorphosis that took place with him as far as it playing into the relationship that he had developed with Kate. Now that's not a spoiler because this is a romance. So if you're going to have a romance, you have a female and, you, and a male protagonist in, in this type of contemporary read, right? So you got the protagonist, you know that Kate and Charles are going to end up together, but how? Especially since their first run-in, and they literally ran into each other at their first meeting, was dastardly, was disastrous, and now they're working together, and now she has a chance to possibly have a romance with this sexy guy. Yeah, different book, different type of book. It was a quick read. Uh, I think, how many pages was this book even? I don't even know. Probably about 350 pages. I'm trying to find out. I don't know why my uh, screen went off wanky. Yeah, 352 pages, but it was a quick read for me. It was a quick read. Very delightful, very enjoyable, very highly recommended. If you like romance with a little bit of spice, because remember, it's the Spice Master at Bistro is Exotique. So that's all I'm going to say. Samantha Barant is a new author to me. And I'm really glad that I got a chance to read this. And this is a Berkeley publication. Berkeley is a hard publisher to get approved for books for. So when I got this as an offer to read it, I'm like, yes, another Berkeley book. Yay. So that's another high point recommendation wise for this book. Alrighty. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.